Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. We are back at the sale room. Because there is obviously an upcoming sale, but also they have a dining table which seemed to be at a very reasonable price, that's what we've been told, and there's a few interesting things which we thought it would be nice to see. Let's go along. <music> Hold on, Anna. We've got to go through that dodgy curtain at the back to get into the sale room. Yes, we do, because they're prepping for the sale. So this is like days ahead of the sale, but we wanted to see the well, all the nice objects to show you all and find out about the prices. Before we go back there, I've got a couple of things I want to talk about here. What did you want to tell us, Ed? Come have a seat, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> There's one there. Oh, These Anna's are... got a seat. Look, I tried to get you to sit on a toilet. Is it? I don't need Oh, the... maybe not. No. Is it the toilet or is it the know. toilet? That is know. the question. This is what I wanted to talk about, these chairs here. Um, they are late 1800s. Wow, they're beautiful. Um, and they have had a little bit of work done on them. I can't remember the name of, of, of this style in French. Um, but the beautiful chairs, they, they are a throwback to Roman design. So, you know, um, and it is really a good example of the style of late um, 1800s in France. Um, they've had a little bit of brass put on the front here uh, to strengthen. And uh, of course, you've got a bit of brass here. Oh, uh, well, steel uh, here. Oh, yes, I didn't see that from where I was. I think they're interesting, ornate, and good looking chairs. They are beautiful, even the hands. And the legs. So we're in the sale room. Nobody else is around. They're putting everything online at the moment, so it's a bit noisy. So I hope we don't get too much background noise. But I love this uh, mirror, Anna. It is stunning. I'm talking quietly because I don't want him to hear in case you want to go for it. Could that be my Christmas present? That could be yours. Uh, well, all depends on the price. Oh yeah, I think it was going to start at 200 euros. Which would be? Which would be too low. I think it's probably going to end up about eight, 900 euros. Then it's um, not for us. It's the same period again, end of the 1800s. Mm. So, end of 19th century. Shall we show it? This could look amazing in the bedroom that you just decorated. Because look at that oval mirror. I mean, the detail, there is some tiny, tiny imperfections. Yeah, but it's just basically, it broke on root, apparently. So it just needs sticking back with some super glue. That's actually wood. It's not plaster. Oh. If, again, I've got my pickiness on today, Anna. If I was being picky, it's not got beveled mirror in there. So, Don't be so picky. I know, I am being picky with it. But I think it is the original mirror, but just not, not that. Yeah, it takes a, just a, an echelon above when, If when it goes it's got for two hundred, then you get your yours or my Christmas present. There's another thing that might go for two hundred. Oh yes, and it's the same. There's a theme going here. Same period again. End of the eighteen hundreds, so end of nineteenth century. We have a chair missing, but it's actually having its photo taken right now, so it's being tarted up and and having its photo taken over there. And basically it's a full salon set. Um, there's nothing missing, no chips. Uh, and you have a little bit of wood gluing to do here, which is something and nothing. Mm -hmm. Same again on the leg. It just needs a bit of TLC. Mm -hmm. Starting at 200, but there's a catch with this. And that is that if you don't like the covering on the chairs, which we don't, then... Well, it's a bit, yeah, it's lost its... It's a bit yucky. Um, then you've got to recover them. So that's why it's so cheap. Two, three hundred, something like that. Starting price. Regulars to our channel will recognise this big boy. It was a Mason's um, armoire, wasn't it? Yes. Beautiful, beautiful armoire. You don't get everything inside, so don't get excited. That would be good, actually. Um, and it didn't sell in the last time, the last time we were here, 
because it got pulled out of the sale because somebody in the family that was inheriting uh, items said he wanted it and then now he's changed his mind so it's back in this sale a year, a year after later. yes yeah. uh, what did he say it was on at uh, 300 starting price 300 because he wants to sell it yeah. so hopefully it I, goes I really like it uh, for 300 we just, yeah we don't have a we don't have anywhere for it either though but we'll have to find somewhere if we did go for it what have you seen Ed? I've seen a really nice um, kind of frame. Mm -hmm. and apparently a very expensive painting, not to my taste. But it's a Michel. Let's go and have a look. And it's signed, I can see that. Yeah. Oh, it's like a mother and... Mother and son, maybe. Walking, yeah. collecting wood. Winter scene, beautiful. Yeah. And that's it, it's a winter scene. It's a bit... And... A bit uh, depressing for me, no? What do you mean? <laughs> it's winter, we have to have winter. But uh, did you say starting price 500? I don't know, but you know what I can see? What? A hole down the bottom. Oh no, that is a shame. Oh yes. Just here. Yes, that is a shame. That is a real shame, but that frame... That, that can be repaired, that's not a problem. It can be repaired. I think just the frame alone will be worth a lot. Oh, you can see a bed up there, but oh. we... Do, we don't need a bed. We do. Oh yes, the bedroom we that we stole a bed from. Oh yes, that looks actually that looks really nice. And I, those are it's bedside tables. The matching. Yeah, but we've already got bedside tables in that room. We have to jiggly pokery things around, well, and we've got enough bedside tables. Yes. I wanted to talk about this next though. It is a print, yeah. It's mm -hmm. uh, ad advertising, and it's a bit more my kind of thing because it's a bit fun. A bit it bright, a bit fun. I'm not that keen on the frame, but I think it's pretty cool. It's for the uh, nocturnal market of Bazas. So you've got all these people sat at tables, you know, and it's all just very fun. You've got all these markets down the side. I'd love the original, but this isn't the original. It's just a print. Yeah. It's not particularly expensive, but there you go. <laughs> it's time for something. It's time to talk about these paintings. Yes. Uh, again, what age do you think these might be? End of oh. the 19th century again. So, uh, um, sorry, end, <laughs> yeah, end of the 19th century, so uh, late 1800s. Uh, no si signature on the paintings. Really well painted. Um, and you can see what kind of size they are next to really me. Really big. Um, starting price on each of them is 400. The guys may be a bit better looking than the lady. Ooh, do we have a preference here? Well, look, I mean, it's, it's kind of like, there's nothing really wrong there. The lady looks a little bit less happy. Well, it's the lighting. They should have portrayed her in a better day. And it's very dark clothes. I mean, I know I wear black a lot. But that's very, very dark. And you can... But the details, I mean, yes. the hands, they're very, very... Yeah, you can always tell if it's a good paint, painter or not by the hands. They're very hard to paint the hands. Yes, it could have done with more lighting, which is a shame. But yeah, but we can't split them. They look like a pair. Yeah, let's hope that whoever buys them buys the pair. I've got something over here I want to show you on it. It's for, it's for when my back gets a bit worse, Anna. <laughs> Limp a bit more. <laughs> no, and joking. then, if somebody attacks me... What will you do? Wow. En garde. So, I mean, it's not, everybody, not unheard of, a knife in a cane, but I think it's pretty cool, and it's really, really nice. Ornate, yeah. yeah. Look at the blade. Wait, Can you see that on the camera? We need, let's go under the light there, because yeah. they've done an amazing setup for taking the picture. Yeah, let's steal it whilst they're not here. Yeah. Well, maybe not still, but... I spy with my little eye something that we definitely need. Well, yeah, we do need a table. So it's, again, end of the uh, 19th century, so late 1800s. Very English-looking table with six chairs. Um, 
we are looking for a table and chairs, whether it's these or not, I don't know. What's the uh, price that he's putting this out at? I think it's starting price 200. 200, so I mean, it's not expensive, but then again, it's not spectacular, like the gates. Oh. Um, but no, it's not something where you walk in a room and say, wow, look at that table, and I think that's what we need. Yes, but you don't have to maybe buy the chairs, because the chairs, you, it's, uh, that yeah. don't go with it. I mean, they could go with it. Yeah, but look but at the look at the legs as well. It's, it's kind of fairly boring table, and that's why he's starting it at two hundred. Yes, but maybe you could get really nice chairs that could pimp it up, <laughs> or not. I'm not keen on it. Okay. Let's have a look at this bronze again. About the same period. The starting price on this is. I don't know, but I know that the one went in Christie's for two thousand pounds. Wow! In two thousand and three, it is signed. I haven't got my glasses on, so you're gonna to have to look at it, and I shall find out who oh, that is. Uh, Let's see the signature. So this is Falger. Uh, it's a, a golden bronze, and not only have you got the signature Falger, you've also got the the stamp of who actually poured it, um, because. Falger would make the plaster cast and then he'd send it somewhere to be uh, molded. So they're going to start at three, four hundred euros, but I don't think it's going to finish there. So he's hoping to get about twelve hundred, fifteen hundred, something like that. Yeah, or more. Or more. <laughs> I love this chair. So we thought we'd seen this before, but no, we hadn't seen it before. There was one in another sale recently. But it wasn't the same one. It's going to be put up for sale at 200 euros. He's saying like 10 years ago, you'd have been at 1800 euros for that. Mm. What I like about it is the inlay again. I do love inlay and uh, it's nice inlay on this. Beautiful. It's not probably the most intricate inlay, but it's still very nice. And even mm. on the front. It is very nice. And for the price, really good. Yeah, I mean, if you can get it for 300 euro, maybe, plus the fees. Still good. Last lot that we're gonna ask for is this painting here. I love the flowers. It's got beautiful English roses, tulips. I'm trying to think what that I can see eggs there, not flowers obviously. And I think some stock. I don't know. When you say you're gonna ask for are you asking Father Christmas for some artwork? No no no, I was gonna ask for the price, Christmas. but like, who knows, maybe it won't go. Okay, the frame isn't as good as the painting itself, but it is signed La Bess, La Less. Okay, I don't know. But stunning, and he said starting price. 200 two, euros. Which is really good, considering. I think it's a beautiful painting. I'd okay. say La Bess, L-A-B-E-S. I'm trying to look now and I can't find it. There are more canes. Wall hangings, which we're not going to follow because we don't need it, but there's, there's a lot of interesting things. So there we go. That was our choices of what we were going to show you. There's lots of other things being sold in this sale. It's on Thursday the 8th of December. Um, they do ship internationally if anybody's interested in, um, in buying something or other. And we'll put a link in the description of this video. So I've decided to do a little decoration for Charles's bedroom because he wants his own little mini tree for his bedroom. And I found something online with some baby's breath, floral foam, so it's going to keep it nice and moist. And I had this, well, I've had this urn for at least 12 years, maybe more. So I'm gonna try and do a mini white baby's breath Christmas tree for Charles. I, I will most likely do it all in time lapse and just show you at the end what it looks like, but it's just simple. I do have more baby's breath. It's just, I only brought this to start with. The first thing I'm gonna do is just shape this a little bit. Got my knife here. And then away we go. I don't want to do it too perfect but I don't want to do it like so it doesn't look good it has to look good and then obviously 
towards the bottom, I will just like use bigger lengths of baby's breath. There we go, just a bit of shaping and hopefully Charles will like it. So I've put it as best as I could in here. I know it doesn't look much, so hopefully it's going to look nice in the end and let me know what you guys think. This is where I'm at so far. It does need more babe's breath, so I'm gonna continue. But it is not looking bad. Okay, moment of truth, here it is, I found some battery operated little lights and I think it looks really cute, I just hope he's gonna like it. In the end I added some eucalyptus and that is it and it's okay if Charles doesn't like it, we will just keep it here. Do you like the tree now Charles or no? Yeah. Do you want it in your bedroom? Yeah. Okay, Bunny. If you enjoyed today's vlog, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, to subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell so you can come to our premieres. See you all soon. See you soon.